Hey everyone, it's Beth. Welcome back to the channel. So happy you're here. And today um, is going to be kind of a little part two of the last video from Self Help Education where we broke down and dismantled that uh, pretty creepy and pretty sexist video. So I'm actually going to be going through the comment section of that video today and reacting to and just talking about different people's opinions on the video because you know what? That sounds interesting. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for watching them, for commenting and engaging with me and um, ringing the bell if you have. I just so appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, helps my channel out a lot and just honestly really encourages me to keep going. Um, I enjoy this. I enjoy you guys and I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's get into these comments. Comment number one at the top of the comment section for this video. I gave up on men years ago. I left my independence and an epic life. I'm in my late 60s and have long hair and I'm very happy with the way I look. Men do say hello and I graciously accept it. Okay. Um, I guess your overall point is you don't care what men think. Good for you. Good for you, Deborah. Um... She says she has long hair. Okay, again, everybody's choice used to have long hair too. Um, but just the fact that she doesn't care what anybody thinks about that, that's really what matters to know that she's doing this choice for her. So, way to go. Um, next comment. I don't know. My husband loves me with short hair. I get tons of attention with my short hair. This does not apply to all men. I keep my hair short intentionally. I'm 50 and still very fertile. All right. Yeah. And I would say the same thing. My husband watched this video as well after I found it and he was appalled. Hated it. Um, he said he left a comment on here. Actually, I need to refresh this page and see if his pops up. But yeah, and honestly, I get a lot of attention too with my short hair. Um, I did before as well, and I, I agree. I mean, this is this is not applied to all men, obviously. All right. Um, thanks, self help education, for your comment. Do you agree? Let me know your opinion. Um, guys, get on over there. Self-Help Education wants to know what you think about this video. And if you were with me on the last one, well, you know what I think. Let's see. Um, next, this is a guy's comment. Who says men loves long hair? I mostly like medium type hair. Okay, yeah. I mean, who says men love long hair? Exactly. Um, not a fact. Guys, you're being countered by your own kind here. Let's see. Next comment, I'm a man. Although I don't hate long-haired women, I believe that short-haired women are the prettiest, especially with pixie cuts. All right, so a pixie cut fan. All nonsense and wrong information doesn't apply. I have long hair, but doesn't mean all men are attracted to that. Again, not all women are attracted to the same thing either. Um, there is no biological or um, societal, you know, just ingrained in us to every single woman is like, ooh, that guy has short hair. Yep, he's the one. Everybody has different opinions. Gosh, like uh, the fact that I even have to say that is so crazy. Um, my friends with short hair have wonderful partners. I sometimes think to cut short hair because they're very chic. Yeah, they are. You should do it, Samas. Um, let's see. Wow, not even reading that one. Um, moving right along. Of course, I expected a couple um, of the, the minions of this ideology to be in here. Next, this comment is interesting. Um, I'm, I'm very curious. Please comment too down below and let me know what you think about these. But listen to this one, guys. I hate to say it, but most men like long hair because it hides the ugly. Take an average girl and give her pretty long hair and boom, she goes from a six to a seven. Easy. Capital E, capital Z, easy. Um, hiding the ugly. There is a lot we could break down on that. And um, you know, that's one thing I noticed whenever I did cut my hair short is you can just see your face a lot better. Um, I hope you like your face. I hope you like seeing your face more. But, um, yeah, a lot that could be said about that. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed it all, and I don't think I've talked about it on my channel. Um, I don't wear makeup 
whatsoever. Um, the one thing that I do use consistently is my Vaseline plain lip stuff, chapstick, Vaseline chapstick. That's all. Um, and I personally, and this is only my opinion, I really love when people are embracing their natural selves. I really like when women feel comfortable and confident in who they are without added layers. Um, I, I just, you know, think that that is healthy and um, that's my opinion. But hiding the ugly... Again, um, and this guy doesn't even have a name on his, but this is not your place to tell someone um, if you think that their hair is hiding the ugly. Um, we don't care what you think about our faces and um, your opinion wasn't asked for on that. Anyway, all men loves long hair of women. Every girl loves long hair. Only those have hair cut whose hair are messy, freezy, unable to grow longer. Preganinant? Pregante? <laughs> hey, another one. I think short-haired women are beautiful and very attractive. Oh, I thank you. I like short-haired women. Um, and something else too that popped in my head is that it's a hair. Um, it changes. It changes every single day. Like I am in need of a haircut. You guys saw what it looked like, um, how much shorter it was when I did first get it cut. It's gosh, probably going on four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. And it changes all the time. It can change too. Anytime somebody makes a decision for it to change, it changes. It's literally like strands of keratin just growing off of your head. It's not you. It's not permanent. It is so fleeting. Um, and it definitely can help you to feel confident, insecure in yourself. I understand that. And I completely feel that way too. But it's just important to know that it's fleeting. It's additional to you. Okay. <laughs> the last comment on here is my husband's. I haven't read it yet, um, and we're going to scroll down and see what he's commented while I've been filming this video. This video, as well as the accompanying description, is incredibly sexist, ableist, and just plain moronic. If you have ever wondered what an example of casual sexism and gender-biased ableism looks like, then look no further than this steaming pile of YouTube poop. <laughs> Bravo! Well done! And he... That's really well said. Intellectual, classy, all up until you said poop. But I get it. Yes. Yes. Good comment. I seriously recommend, guys, please go on there and, you know, let them know what you think about their video. Talk with me here. I am more than happy. I'm actually looking forward to getting into some of these conversations with you to break down these topics. These um, two videos here about this were definitely, you know, kind of more uh, lighthearted. I would love to do um, a research-based video about something like this soon in the future. If there's an idea you have for a video that you want to see from me, let me know in the comments. As you know, I read them all and respond to everyone. That is one of my favorite things about this channel. Thank you for being here. It means so much to me. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, watching, commenting, engaging. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!